to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. On the run, it's Bo Jackson. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, yo, that yo. front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. They'll run on first down, Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. And well, they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by an American hero, Pat Tillman. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Jackson, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for Charles Davis, the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.